Without land, we have nothing. The land is the lifeblood of a people. The land shaped you when you it. The inner essence of each is merged and reflected in the other. Under tutelage of the long winters, the northern European became brilliant. What at first seemed harsh and cruel, taught him to be practical and plan ahead. In the vastness of the forest, he learned to reflect in solitude. He danced around great pyres in reverence to its majesty. As he stared into the deep dark woods, they stared back. architecture to ancient groves he carved his inner beauty into the land the land provides us with nourishment for both body and soul and like a babe torn from its mother a man without land lacks the essentials of life In modern times, land has lost all spiritual value. Whilst going up monetarily, borders once marked with our dead are now being overrun. With claims no man can be illegal, borders are being contested. Not by standing armies, but by intellectuals who question their very concept. As our grip on our sacred homeland loosens, so in turn does our grip on existence. None are as precious to us as our children. A simple smile upon their face can put the world into perspective. The culmination of the efforts and struggles of not only us, but all who came before. They are the literal embodiment of our future. Through our ancestors, we stretch back to the world's beginnings, and through our children. We extend into eternity. As a sacred link in this unbroken chain, we are duty bound to secure their future. Failure to do so means all ancestral effort was ultimately in vain.
not only symbolic of our future hopes, but also of noble ideal, with boundless energy and limitless imagination. They represent the noble soul in its purest form. With shameless joy they express themselves, always giving full attention to every action, no matter how small. To observe children at play is to observe the magic of the universe in full creative form. With the human experience becoming a condition, the noble nature and energetic enthusiasm of the child are reduced to disorders. Nothing is sacred. Under guise of protection, poison is injected. Under guise of freedom, pure minds polluted. For those with none to care, a living hell is manifest. As they strip our children of their purity, they strip us of our nobility. For only a wretched bastard would allow such indignity. Community is what we build upon the land and bring our children up within. Through community, man can achieve a truly genuine life. Within a sound community, a man has value. He belongs. Belonging is crucial for healthy development, and with it, the man gains purpose. Purpose gives meaning to action. Through it, even death is conquered. A man with such self-worth becomes impenetrable to lies. For he knows life's value and his duty to it. As the local is replaced by the global, men lose their value. He shops in international corporations and in the news, he hears of far-off floods and tragedy. The local becomes mundane. It begins to shrink till he himself shrinks. He loses touch with his surroundings and eventually himself. Lacking in all self-worth, he feels powerless and becomes apathetic to even his own destruction. Without community, man is reduced to mere existence without context. He becomes the walking dead.